hello traders welcome back to finance masterclass in this tutorial we shall be looking at how to measure or calculate your pips in forex stocks bond futures cryptos and anything tradable before we start i would like to explain what we mean by pips pip is the price change of a given exchange rate for example if the currency per euro usd moves from 1.2 cc0 to 1.2 cc1 there is one pip movement a move from 1.2 cc0 to 1.2 cc5 is five pip movements as you can see the pip is the last decimal point there are two ways by which we can calculate pips the first is by the use of basis points basis point is the finance unit of measurement which is used to determine the percentage change in the value of a financial asset one basis point is equivalent to 0 0.0001 which in turn is equivalent to one pip therefore one pip is equal to 0 0.0001 if the current price of a financial asset is 1.2 cc0 if you add one pip to it you will have 1.2 cc1 let's check it out one point two cc is zero you add zero point zero 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 one what do you have so what I want to do is addition once you add this you are certainly going to have 1.266 that is it so 0 0.0001 is one basis point and is equivalent to one pip so just get a fat once you get a fat is going to help you in calculating pips anytime any day even if you are with someone on the phone and it told you the current price of an asset and then and told you that after the movement of about 20 pips you should enter a buy you should know what the person is talking about what you just need to do is to uh, to convert uh, the 20 pips to this decimal point and then add to the current price you'll be able to uh, actually determine the current the next price and the current price that's it take note if you know the value of one pip is 0 0.001 from this formula you can actually determine the value of two pips five pips ten pips hundred pips etc simply by multiplying by 0.0001 that's it all right i hope you are following this particular number 0 0.001 0 0.0001 is actually one basis point and it's equivalent to one pip whenever you add it to a number just know you are adding one pip by it then if you are dealing with five pips simply multiply this number 0 0.0001 by 5 you have 5 pips if, if it is 10 pips multiply it by 10 you have 10 pips if it is 100 pips the same thing you multiply it by 100 then you have uh, 100 pips all right that does it so all these prices you are seeing here once you add this number to it then you determine the next price and the next price is one pip depending so if if you if you are dealing with 10 pips after you have multiplied this number by 10 then you add it to the current the price in question you are talking about then you have the next price all right so 
the second way by which you can measure or calculate dips is by the use of a cross hair. Cross hair is actually in your trading platform and I'm going to show you that in a moment. All right. So if you look at my screen here, you will see the cross share and whenever you click that cross share, it's going to be made up of three numbers. One is this number here, the first number, then this is the second number, this is the third number. So it will make up of three numbers and each of these three numbers has a meaning. This one is the number of bars or the number of candles that you have passed so far. All right. Then this second number is where we have the pips. But one thing you should note is that the last digit of this middle number is ignored. For example, we have here three seven, three seven, three six. So this six here shall be ignored. Then the number of pips will be three seven three. All right. This last number here is just the current price, the price of the asset. But our intention is not to determine the price of the asset, but to know the number of pips that we are dealing with. So from this point here, this point here to this point, we have 373 pips. And it is because of this, this uh, middle, middle numbers here. 3736. But this is being the last number will be ignored. Then the number of pips will be 373. All right. I'm going to show you how to do it in your chat. All right. Let's go. So here is your chat. I want to show you how to do it in your chat. So this is your chat. Let's say you want to know the number of pips from here from this angle here, from this point here, to this point. You simply click here, go to your cross share here, this is your cross share, just like an arrow, you click on it, and then you come to any point you are interested in. So I'm interested in knowing the number of pips from this point to this point. So you click and drag to this point, then you'll be able to see it. You can see the three numbers that I've earlier shown you. We have 19 there, the first 19, which is the number of bars and the number of candles that make up to that point. Then we have another middle number. You have another middle number that you are looking at, which is 4807. Seven will be ignored. Therefore, 480 will be the number of pips, 480 pips. And the last numbers there, the last numbers is going to be the price just as I showed you earlier. So that's it. If you have found value on this tutorial, simply click a like button and subscribe button as a way of encouraging us to keep doing what we are doing. All right. Thank you and see you on the next video.